<laughs> Hurrah, I'm off again, heading in that direction up to Table Mountain. Well, locally known as Table Mountain. I don't think it's the Table Mountain. Uh, no flights involved. Uh, it's just before one o'clock today, so I've got about four and a half hours. So I'm gonna get to Table Mountain, and have a scout around there. I think I'll camp there tonight but maybe go a little bit further, explore. There's two other trick point points, peaks. Uh, just see how the light goes, see what I'm doing, a bit of videoing, see how far I want to get to uh, before coming back and camping on top of Table Mountain. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Lily's video. <laughs> well, I can't say trudging up a, a kilometre or so road is the best thing, but the views here are so amazing. Table Mountain with the ridge behind it, where I'm going tonight, and the absolutely beautiful cloud inversion behind me with the sunlight going through. Cannot describe how picturesque that is. The little church spire poking up into the mist with the light, kind of silhouette style. Glorious, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Brilliant. Better get going there. Short way in now. I've drawn the Cambrian Way. It's a very small path. Basically now heads pretty well straight up to Table Mountain. But uh, <laughs> it's a this bit's a narrow track. But hey, making good progress, and it's still glorious. It is still glorious. doing well. Table Mountain is just up yonder. There's a little way to go yet, but uh, not too far. I've just had to stop to take off a couple of layers. Talking about on and off with layers, you know, energy management or temperature management uh, with, you know, extended energy inputs, uphill, hot. <laughs> All is good. We're doing well. <laughs> what a fantastic view. That cloud inversion must have been there all day, I reckon. Uh, it's, what is it now? It's uh, just after one. I, don't know, I didn't see it from the other side particularly, but uh, I must have been there all day. Absolutely fantastic. I wonder whether I'll get a, a nice sunset. Later, the, uh, the high cloud is, is, is gone. No high cloud at all. So I might be lucky and get a sunset. We shall see, it's good. Well, <laughs> in my last video, you may have seen uh, me talking about sort of the layer approach to wearing clothing uh, in cold weather. And, and I talked about um, layers and adding layers and etc. the types of layers. Well, I ran out of time in the last video to talk about uh, the extra bits of clothing like uh, trousers and over trousers and uh, gloves and all sorts of bits. But I also wanted to talk about uh, energy management and heat regulation, putting on layers, taking off layers at the right time. I've just stopped uh, just a few minutes ago uh, further down and took off a couple of layers. I had an outer shell and a 
the uh, my green fleece, uh, synthetic fleece, while I've stripped them off and, and hung them on my rucksack because this is up. And uh, funnily enough, I'm actually getting quite warm. I know I don't want to generate too much uh, body sweat that will accumulate dampness later on. So uh, take off a couple of layers to regulate that heat. Talk about that a little bit more later on. Oh yeah, right on. Table Mountain just ahead. Glorious, all in the sunshine. It is good. It's been a bit of a slog with this load. I've got my usual uh, plus plus food options. Uh, the extra couple of kilograms actually. <laughs> and I bought a bottle of uh, real ale from a, a shop uh, just in Krikal. So, bit of a load to lug. Never mind, it'll be worth it. There are ponies here. Hello, how are you? Oh, sweet. Well, I've left Table Mountain behind. That was Table Mountain leaving it behind just for uh, the next couple of hours, aiming to be back there to uh, pitch up tonight. I've got about two hours of light and I'd like to get to the trick point, the higher ground up here. It's about just under 4k so should do it there and back in the time even if I have to do that last bit uh, sort of in the dusk which I'd rather not do but it'd be great just to get to this uh, next peak. I'm always wanting the next peak, the next peak but uh, I think I can do it and get back. Uh, in time for the light. <laughs> Have to be honest, it's a bit of a slog but the views make it worth it. My goodness, beautiful. So Table Mountain just over there and then round to the side, that's Sugarloaf. Although it doesn't look like Sugarloaf from here, it is Sugarloaf uh, due to its location. Uh, further round, what will that be further round? Over there then is the Skirid. I've not been up the Skirid. Uh, the mountain skewered. I was in the pub skewered in just the other night, but uh, up the mountain, skewered mountain, I haven't been up there for years actually. It's time to revisit. I don't think I've ever done a camp out on top. N no, I don't think I have. So that's one to put on the list actually. Note to self. Beautiful. 
Well, I've given myself another 45 minutes to get to the top here. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. See how it goes. <laughs> Stop now and again for a breather. <laughs> That's the trick. But not too long though. Don't want to get cold. And uh, I need to push on. Onwards up to the trig point just here. 45 minutes? Yeah, surely. Less, actually. <laughs> it always looks easier than, well, I don't know, it doesn't look easy even. We'll see. We'll see. Determination. That's what we've been got, got a bit of. Determination. You need that lug in this load. Wow, wow. Just talking to a chap just there a moment ago. Uh, took a bit of audio, might just uh, slip that in. Uh, he was describing he had uh, parked up in Crickell, sort of a bit, probably a bit further than I have. I'm like just up from Crickell, uh, just parked up. He's done the edge route, somehow the edge route of uh, Sugarloaf Round, all along that high line, sort of skyline, ridge line if it's a ridge, all around, up and over. I don't know how far up he's gone. It's quite, it can go quite a way. And then back down here, he left at 9.30, something like 19 miles. So that's very doable uh, with a stop overnight or, or just a, as a day walk like he's done. So Black Dragon Challenge. Event. Black Dragon Challenge, yeah, okay. I, I think it's in, it's in June, but, there, but there's, there's four different routes yep. around, around here. And that, yep. that one's actually on it, the one I'm doing today. Okay. It's called the Ridge Walk. The Ridge Walk, Black Dragon. Black Dragon Challenge, yeah. What a fantastic view. Getting cold actually. I haven't got enough layers on, talking about layers before. Uh, need to keep going, need to keep going. So this is the end of my bit, this direction. I'm gonna now head back, see how far I get. Uh, I've got about an hour's light left. Uh, so it's gonna be a bit tight, but I'm gonna head back to Table Mountain, get all the way. There is a couple of spots I found on the way that I could pitch up if I need to. See if I can get back to Table Mountain. Back we go. It's glorious. Absolutely stunning. And almost back to uh, uh, Table Mountain in this lovely golden light. The sun is uh, probably about uh, 10 minutes away from setting. And I've probably got a, a sort of a 15, 20 minute walk for the last bit to the far, far sort of corner of uh, Table Mountain Triangle sort of plateau on top. So uh, the last bit will be in the dark, I think, or well, late dusk anyway, which is fine, which is fine. What a glorious day or glorious afternoon I've been out uh, for this trip so far. Wonderful. That cloud inversion has been there all day. I wonder what it'll be like tonight uh, and in the morning. Yeah, a bit of a climb section now up to this craggy bit of uh, Table Mountain. Uh, better be a bit careful, I think. It is icy. And there we are, popped up on the northern tip of Table Mountain. I've now got to just travel across this, uh, well, I wouldn't say flat part of the plateau. It's not flat at all, really, but the, uh, the other part of the open area here. I'm going to find my pitch point uh, just on that sort of southern edge, I think, just here.
I look absolutely massive, don't I, with all the layers and bits I've got on. I think I've got the uh, tent bag in here as well, which is added padding. Well, whatever. I've got my leggings on. I haven't changed my boots yet, but I'm in my tent and I've got the, uh, the water on for the hot chocolate. Always go for a hot chocolate if you can. It's cold again. The light's gone. The uh, cloud inversion is still there. I can just about see lights twinkling through it, but uh, the light's pretty well gone. So in my luxury apartment this evening, I have for supper a chicken and rice and veg curry. Unfortunately, it looks as if my SD card on my GoPro is uh, not a happy little bunny. Um, I'm hoping I haven't lost all my data. It says on the screen that data may be included on the SD card, but I don't do anything with it. Uh, I run the risk of corrupting it more or losing all the footage I've, I've done before for the last, uh, well, this is my actually my second night of a trip, uh, a weekend trip. So I'll be rather gutted if I've lost the lot. So I can't use my GoPro, um, so I'm going to resort to using the phone, which I can't stand up, so it's all very difficult. Um, I, frustratingly, I usually carry at least a couple of SD cards, micro SD cards, but unfortunately I don't. I, I can't account for why, really. The little box I usually have isn't in my um, battery box, my battery bag. So, uh, alas, I'm messed. So... Uh, I'm believing in the fact that I haven't lost all my footage. Um, I just can't use the GoPro anymore for the moment. Um, I'm going to look forward to a beer and my curry and then my pudding and then snuggle down uh, in my sleeping bag. This is one full pot of curry. <laughs> Hot. Mmm. Very hot. Actually, very nice. I wonder if the veg is cooked enough. Mmm. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's good too. Broccoli can be funny. As what? What's that like? The mushrooms have disintegrated. Oh, nice. Lovely. I need to open my beer as well. Well, next, it's beer o'clock. This is a bottle of Sugarloaf from the Tudor Brewery. Um, no idea what it's like. Um, instructions say it should have been not refrigerated. I think it's pretty cold. And keep upright. Well, it has been kept upright, but jiggle around in my rucksack. So, uh, here goes. And uh, yes, Dan, this is one of my many bottle opens. Cheers. Difficult to uh, drink in a tent. That's very nice. Dark. I'm gonna enjoy this, not too quickly. Excellent. Cheers.
good morning, good morning. <laughs> what a glorious start to the day. It could not be better, really. Beautiful. Chilly, but beautiful. Lovely valley to look over. I pitched in a perfect spot. I had partly packed up things in my tent, sleeping bag and bedding and bits and pieces, but uh, lots more to do. Kettle's on for coffee. I shall sort that out. And then uh, bit by bit, sort up. Be off in about 45 minutes, I hope. There we are. Should be off by about half past eight, quarter to nine, something around like that, I think. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you could see just above my tent here. Uh, that's Penifan, Cribbon, Corndu, all along there, uh, picking out in the sunshine uh, in this morning light. Golden light. It's glorious. Blinking cold. I got my gloves back on again, uh, being out. Uh, Right, well, I've packed up inside my tent pretty well. Everything uh, is in my rucksack. Uh, next is the, uh, is the tent, and then I'm off. What I hadn't really understood on this um, table mountain top sort of plateau is the uh, there really is some uh, groundwork, some um, sort of earthworks around, uh, making this quite obviously some sort of hillside fort. Uh, it's difficult to really work out, but there's there's grooves and a, and a round, uh, slightly lower ridge path. Um, fascinating, actually. So presumably, this was some sort of uh, village outpost um, in the local area. So births, deaths, and everything in between. So quite a special, sacred sort of place, really. Uh, privileged to stay a night out on top here. It makes a nice change to be able to uh, pack my tent up without it being an absolute hooly windy kind of blizzardy kind of bit of weather on a mountain. Uh, I can do this calmly. I've left two pegs in uh, upwind, but uh, the rest is, is all loose. All the other pegs are out. <laughs> Instead of battening down everything and packing it up in a hooly wind. <laughs> Almost done with uh, Sugarloaf and uh, Blorange, where I was uh, last night. In fact, if you've seen that video, there'll be a link in the playlist for South Wales. If you haven't seen that video, do take a look. Uh, that is as long as I've got footage from my GoPro. That's a thought. But hey, I hopefully have got something from my camera, if nothing else. So I think uh, I will dip down from the path here, follow the, uh, the local route down. There's the village of Crick Howell and uh, off I go. There is snow out there a bit, but uh, I haven't had much, unfortunately. I can see me coming back here again uh, very soon, maybe for maybe for a summer camp. Uh, Bivy, there's a little ledge further down, which I think I'll explore, which is part of the earthworks, which I was explaining about. I'll see if I can explore that uh, in a minute. But uh, so that's it for this uh, table mountain uh, camp spot for me this time. Quick check around just to make sure everything's cleared up, uh, leaving no trace, which of course is it. Uh, and there is even a little bit of uh, snow residue from left over. I must have carried some snow in. I think it snowed last night, so uh, from my tent before. 
wonderful, I'm off. I think I might leave it here this time. So uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.